I'm going to share with you some narcissistic behaviors I did not know at the time were narcissistic when my ex-wife at the time girlfriend moved to California to be with me. You see, she had just got there and we would go out to like an In-N-Out or a Mud Bug, something like that, some good food. And she brought up a place called Fazoli, uh, Fazoli's. And I said, oh, Fazoli's, they, they uh, came out to California back in 2007. And her response to that was, oh, <laughs> you people here think that Fazoli's is authentic Italian food? That's cute. <laughs> like that. And I was like, what? It's like, what on earth? What on earth was that? You know? And I, I, I just looked around the room and I was like, you're talking to me, right? And she goes, yes. And I said, okay. I didn't say anything like that. I didn't say... Fazoli's was considered authentic to us people here. I told her we do have, like real Italian food, like Bubba de Beppo's and places like that. I, but that was just very strange. I told her anyway, as I was saying, is they moved out here in 2007, but the quality wasn't here, and they actually shut down their locations rather quickly because they couldn't compete. And she goes, oh, like that. And I was thinking, what was that? You know, I did not know at the time, as far as the narcissistic behaviors, trying to jump out and prove why either they're better than you or you're not as good as them. And it would be with things that were completely random. You know, one day I was taking her to the Griffith Park Observatory and um, we were in our, we were in my BMW Z4 convertible and we get over the hills of Diamond Bar between Diamond Bar and Brea on the 60 freeway going uh, westbound. And, you know, from there you can see all of LA and she starts going off about how funny it is that we are always trying, us Californians, are always bragging about how we have so many buildings and we've got the, we've got the tallest buildings and blah, blah, blah. And I looked at her. Well, here's the thing. She is projecting because that's what they say out in Chicago. And uh, which is true. The buildings out here are beautiful, magnificent. Um, but California, we're not about that. We're about nature. We're about the, the palm, palm trees. We're about surfing the beach, barbecues, you know, we're, we're very LA, very Southern California. But she went off on this as far as ha ha. It's so funny. Look at you guys only have a few buildings where I come from. We have a, a lot of big, massive buildings and you guys are always trying to brag and start claiming that with that. Just ridiculous stuff. We're in the car and I'm like, what did you just hear right now? What are you responding to? What are you talking about? Where did that come from? But fortunately in California, out here people act like that in public in front of people. No embarrassment, no shame, none, none. But in California, when she did that and she saw that people were just confused, you know, people would just just look at her in public and just and then go about their business, you know, but she was catching these looks of confusion, bewilderment. And that helped to curb her behavior. So she was acting more like um what would be socially acceptable 
outside in front of people. So that was good. I'll tell you this now. If I knew that coming out here um, that she would lose lose that and I would see that version of her on steroids, um, I would I would have kicked her out right away. Right away. Um, but yeah, a narcissist, they will do this. They will come out and like here's an example there's a guy named tom back in 2000 when i worked at bracket airport and i had a co-worker virginia and she she um was looking at her car one day she's like uh it's time for me to get an oil change just do and this guy tom starts laughing he's like uh-oh uh -oh, we'll throw the whole car away ha ha being all loud now he was from the midwest so we're all watching him projecting, acting like she said something really stupid. Then the next day, he's laughing, telling a friend over his phone as far as how this girl, Virginia, these Latina Californians don't know how to do an oil change and thinks her car is told of them, blah, blah, blah. And we're just watching this. Like, what is wrong with this guy? Also, I want you to know this. People who tend to do that are very incapable. He was our maintenance guy, and he never fixed a single thing, ever. And he has a maintenance company today he owns specifically to maintain airports. And he, he broke everything, and we always had to call in contractors, pay outside contractors to come in and fix the stuff he broke. But it was like that with my ex-wife. With these type of narcissists are very incapable. And because of that, they feel super insecure. And that insecurity... That's part of what leads them to, my God, really? Someone smashed into a, a truck just like mine and ripped his uh, fuel tank. Wow, man. All lanes closed. That's the second accident in 30 minutes where all lanes are closed. That's another thing. Driving out here is the worst I've seen. But anyways, that's how narcissists act. Uh, especially covert narcissists, because the insecurity pushes them that way, while your flamboyant narcissist um, is always really, really confident and thinks that they're amazing. So they'll laugh at you over something to put you down, and it's out of sight, out of mind, while the covert narcissist needs to keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, because they need everyone to know they're better than you. So yeah.